Mira. बोलने में दिक्कत तो रहेगी बोलो आई फील दैट आई एम वेरी फॉर्चुनेट टू हैव हैविंग दिस ब्रदर्स एंड सिस्टर्स फ्रॉम जर्मनी एट दिस विलेज ऑन द फर्स्ट डे ऑफ दिस 1988 एंड आई वाज ग्लैड टू हैव the join the ceremony of the new year day you all have come here to know about mk gandhi more and more i'll try to say uh, something about our uh, our family and about bapu <laughs> we are uh, Uh, our forefathers were shopkeepers of provisional provisional stores they were called gandhi gandhi in gujarati is a shopkeeper of such things he may be hindu muslim parsi anyone uh, in our in our uh, Uh, family m k gandhi was the very uh, very big man uh, the name is m k gandhi m means mohandas karamchand means uh, mohandas m for mohandas k for karamchand and g for gandhi but uh, bapu ji gandhi ji elder brother signed uh, m k u gandhi no no l k u gandhi l means lakshmi chand 
K means Karam Chand and U means Uttam Chand. That is, he wrote the name of his own, his father's and grandfather also. Uttam Chand Gandhi was uh, the first uh, big man in our family who became minister in Poromunda state and was very successful. <coughs> uh, <coughs> he was very, very honest, truthful, fearless, uh, very keen for justice, simple and uh, very brotherhood. The same, uh, same uh, trace you may say was expanded and by Gandhi uh, more and more and he became such a big man. The, as uh, Lakshmi Chand Gandhi wrote as Lakshmi Chand Karam Chand Uttam Chand that how my grandfather wrote uh, Khushal Chand Jeevan Chand Uttam Chand. That means Bapu's grandfather and my grandfather's grandfather is the same person. Uttam Chand Gandhi uh, had uh, one once one time in Porbandar in the there was a question for justice and uh, some disagreement with the rulers. At that time by ruling party he was uh, he was uh, he was uh, surrounded by uh, military force and uh, guns were there were uh, some uh, guns were there and some you say that uh, uh, big guns would uh, bomb the walls the walls were also vaulting but he said I won't uh, uh, I won't go to injustice even if I have to die. At that time when it was bombard was going on in the Kirti Mandir, which is the now big house there of Gandhi's routine, that was Kirti that was the house of Uttam Chand Gandhi. And in that house he sat with the whole uh, his five sons and wife and himself and uh, the man for justice who has was uh, to him gave went there. So you join My, uh, and the question is that how I, how I was in Phoenix. I will ask the question huh? again. Huh? Huh? Um, you came to South Africa to join Gandhiji at the beginning of this century. How do you remember those days? How do you remember how Gandhiji lived in his Phoenix settlement? How was it? the atmosphere in those days there? Yeah. I was five years old when I was uh, taken there by my uncle to uh, Natal and Phoenix farm. There was a little tin hut there um, which was uh, prepared by my father and my uncle to stay. And there was, uh, uh, near to that, not very far, Bapu's house, tin house also. But Bapu was not at that time there. He was in Johannesburg, uh, and uh, he was a uh, barrister practicing the lawyership there. Here, he wanted us, wanted uh, the Phoenix settlement inmates to work as a farmer and uh, not as a uh, not as a uh, what you say uh, trader. 
they went here from here my father and other some people went with bandi gandhi ji to um, to um, to get the money and uh, to have some trade and get income but uh, it was in 1904 that bapu had a uh, opportunity to read the book of uh, book of uh, ruskin and that was the book named unto this last and when bapu read it he fixed his mind to do and uh, do it in his life but at that time he was busy at jonas uh, bhai having his business and some politics and social service also but he asked the uh, um, people in the family you uh, youngsters to um, follow the ruskin's way in to work by a uh, manual work and uh, read and write good so in the beginning we had no not very big uh, idea there we had only that simple living and high thinking we should read good books and work half day of the time my father and uncle and other people in finish in the, from the morning up till the eleven o'clock they work in the farms digging we had no bullocks no plow no any machine uh, simply by uh, uh, that you see who oh, what you see plow huh? plow not oh. plow but digging digging by hand mm. digging by hand and uh, vegetables and fruits we had there we had their uh, uh, at the beginning in the bapu's farm when there uh, every hut had a surrounding one uh, acre uh, one acre land to cultivate and in that cultivation uh, every uh, one every family got their fruits and uh, vegetables from there and after from afternoon to evening they worked in the printing press the printing press was a very very long godown of made of tin and uh, some machines brought from durban and every from uh, every week they had published indian opinion at that time indian opinion was published in that time in four languages uh, english and uh, gujarati hindi and tamil in four languages it was edited and printed every week on uh, uh, saturday or so okay yes then when it was uh, in uh, in phoenix when my father and friends were working bapu came i think uh, two or two came for two or three days every month or every second month and i had been uh, seeing in that childhood a very little uh, very uh, little time bapu stayed in phoenix but when he came here he worked in the indian open press a whole night and uh, the publish uh, the, uh, the press should uh, the, the uh, weekly should be uh, should not be late he was very keen about that he was in the office of uh, um, indian opinion i saw him writing and uh, writing and uh, editing and uh, folding the newspaper and sending for the uh, postage at that time 
yeah, yeah, in the midnight, he had all the people together and had to go prepare some uh, puri and some, uh, you say, pudding, and had sat together and took, took it that they had the meal and worked up till four o'clock in the morning. In the morning they sent away. Uh, at uh, first when I went there, in the, uh, I was taken to the Phoenix. At that time there was no child there. He, only myself was the little child there. And after some weeks, Kasturba came from Johannesburg. And uh, Ramdas and Devdas, the two young, uh, youngest, Bapu's son, uh, came. And then we were three children. Devdas was not more big than myself, which was one year or so. Ramdas was about three years older than me, but we three played together. And in the Bapu's had brought that uh, European toys and this English books and uh, that we played and then we played in the garden and we made little huts and uh, when I, the hut was prepared we asked Bapu to come and see and he came it he came there and just uh, he went with us to, to, to had a walk with children and uh, he I remember in that time that he put up and uh, pick, picked up and on the, his shoulder and asked me to jump and in the little uh, there was high high uh, in a bapu hut uh, was there was the veranda and from veranda the field was low so it was about three feet low. So jump and then again get up and jump. That was the play. And then he asked us to uh, run with him and we ran. And also uh, when we, uh, I was, uh, when I was able to not pronounce proper name of Ramdas, I said Ramdas. I can't say Ramdas. So he asked Ramdas and Devdas, say Hippipurre, say Hippipurre. And, and also I said was Hippipurre, and then I began to uh, pronounce R also. In the, that time I was not able to pronounce R. Uh, that is what the very little time uh, when. Uh, it was the, I think in 95, 94, 96 and that time. Uh, that was uh, uh, at, uh, when Bapu went to city, Durban. He had full dress and uh, collar. And uh, I remember that uh, other um, Clothes were washed and cleaned here in uh, Phoenix, but his scholars were went to uh, had to sent to Durban, and it was ironed and twelve quarters, one dozen collar will come together, and uh, I and Devdasi should will have that put in the table for Bapu mm. that time. Okay, Your common time with Gandhiji began at the beginning of our century. Yes. Later on you joined him in India. You have been with him many years during the Satyagraha campaigns in India. And uh, you know a lot about his ideology and his life also. How do you see his relevance, the relevance of his teachings, his ideology for the people of India today? Uh, what 
I have learnt from Bapu and uh, what he taught me. I can say that uh, he, from beginning to end, he was very keen to be a free man. We were, uh, we were the, uh, suppressed by English people here and also in foreign land. So, how can we get free? For that, he said, everyone should have Swaraj. And for having Swaraj, the way you determine that I won't uh, bow down to un injustice, I'll be a free man. That was his idea, and he wrote that book, little book in Hind Swaraj. And that was the textbook which he asked us by paragraph by paragraph, we were reciting it. And that is the way. The um, real Swaraj, everyone independent, can be only when you can have your preliminary wants of uh, food and clothes. You can do it. You are not, you are not, uh, it is when it is not centralized, but it is decentralized. So, we have to, uh, uh, we have to prepare our own fooding, clothing, and prepare our mind to not uh, accept any wrong thing in our life. And be stiff, proper. Don't be, uh, don't fear for death. That was the teaching which he taught in the beginning, taught by his own life, and uh, by the way he uh, took the independent. As uh, in India, that way he said that this big industries, very big industries, and uh, a heavy army, very, uh, very much expenditure for the army, that all is exploiting everyone. Uh, we won't exploit anyone, we should not get exploited by anyone. We should uh, not uh, kill anyone, but we should be uh, very free and bold. That was the Bapu's idea. And that, uh, as much we have picked up, we got independent, but it is not proper independent. It is, think, I think, that uh, as Bapu wanted, that everyone is uh, his own ruler. Swaraj means the rule of himself. In that way, the uh, one person cannot be uh, stay alone, but small villages are perfect in their own own uh, industry, own uh, setting, and village should be uh, there, there. There should be gram swaraj everyone. That in India we are not in that way. We are opposite way. We are being very much centralized, and uh, we, uh, we need uh, very much, we are uh, running for machinery and so. That thing is not the way of Bapu. India will be free and happy. People will be free and happy and they will uh, they'll get uplift when they'll take the way to be honest. Honesty is for truth. And uh, you will not exploit anyone. That is our ahimsa. You, that is what uh, we want here. And I think that is also needed in uh, surrounding countries near Asia and I don't know about far countries, but 
if we can do that, Bapu's path is <coughs> to be developed much more. If we forget it, we will uh, we will fall more troubles trouble for our head. So these ethical values you just described are universal. Universal. So yes. they are valid at any time, at any place, any time, all over any the world. Yes. Oh. That is the way, and that is I was, I was just saying that that was the, uh, when you want in that way to stay, you live in that way, and when you live in that way, when two are there, we will twenty from twenty will come two hundred. That is the idea. And that is how, and that was the idea of Indian culture from beginning, from ancient times. And that we want it again. We don't want the, that that uh, style of living, but that idea is there. So then, actually, there is no need for a new Gandhi. If everyone <laughs> adopts his his uh, yes. values, yes, uh, yes. tries to practice. Yeah, if you know, I'll. Uh, I remember that when he said quit India and he started quit India movement, he said uh, we won't have any army, we don't have any organization, there won't be any guide and there no leader. Everyone is leader of themselves and he will become his, say I am free, I am I'm not under uh, British, uh, British government and everyone when he is free, be free in your mind and be free in your practice. That thing, I think, is wanted everyone. Uh, I think, in, uh, just as in Arab also, and that uh, Ceylon also, and I don't know about China, but also they want that.